in this projectile problem, what we're looking for is when we project something off of a building at 200 meters per second, what's the maximum height it's going to travel? Now, when we've done projectile problems in the past, we said we'd look at the vertical column and the horizontal column. So if you're not sure what I mean by this, check one of the previous videos. But the idea is I put all my vertical information here, all my horizontal information here, and the only thing that can go from one column to another is the time. Now, I may not need that in this case. So let's put down our information. We're mostly interested in the vertical. What we have to realize is when a projectile goes up, its horizontal component will always stay the same, but its vertical component will change. When it reaches its maximum height, it's still moving forward, but its vertical uh, velocity at that point is zero. So at the maximum height, the vertical velocity, V2 vertical, the final is zero. At maximum H, V2 vertical equals zero. So I'm really not interested in this 40 meters. I'm really, uh, I'm really interested in what happens from here up to the top. So I have to split this into components. This vertical component is 200 times the sine of 30, which equals 100 meters per second. So even though it's being projected at 200 meters per second that way, the initial vertical velocity is 100 meters per second. And I've chosen up as positive, so this is up, it's positive. When it gets to the top, it will still be moving sideways, but the vertical component is zero. We know that the acceleration here is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. I now have three of my variables. So now I can plug in and find d vertical, this height here, how high it went. So I've got a, v1, and v2. The equation I'm going to use is v2 squared equals v1 squared plus 2ad. I plug into it, v2 is 0. V1 is 100 squared plus 2 times negative 9.8, and I'm looking for D. I solve for D, and I get 510 meters positive. That means when the projectile goes up, when it gets to the highest point and its vertical velocity is zero, it's now going to start to descend. The height is 510 meters. But what I've got to account for now is the 40 meters that it was off the ground when it started. So the final height is the 510 meters plus the 40 meters is 550 meters, and we should give it a direction up. That's the maximum height of the projectile.